why. So whenever I'm in a stair versus escalator situation, this happens. Take the escalator. I told you not to mix the colours with the whites. Do you remember that? And then I pick the stairs and I think to myself, Oh Nat, you're awesome. Good on you. Your heart's gonna, what have you done? There's so much pressure now. The people on the escalator are gonna think you're one of those sporty people. I mean, your physique is amazing. God, now you have to get to the top before them. Oh my God, why did you pick the stairs? You idiot, you idiot. You know what, Usain Bolt? Oh no, she's beating you. She knows it was a better choice. Oh, decision regret. But it's true, right? When you pick the stairs, I mean, that's a statement. Now you're the person who orders a side of salad instead of a side of chips. Well, whoop dee doo Now you're the person who takes a jog in the evening instead of driving home to watch Netflix. Well, sorry. All because now you're the person who takes the stairs instead of the escalator. Well, la dee da Because once you pick the stairs, you have to beat everyone on the escalators. It's the law. No, that's not a real law. Yeah, but it's a thing, right? Oh yes, it's definitely a thing. When a person chooses stairs over escalators, they must beat the person on the stairs. It's the law. We've been through this before. There is no such thing. Oh, I didn't know that you were going to fact check this, so um, we'll cut that out. Um, it is definitely a thing though that there are stair people and there are escalator people. Which got me thinking, why do I even try in the first place? Whenever I try and take the stairs, I just miss out on all the fun that's happening on the escalators. I miss my people. I belong to them. It's us versus them. The two can't mix. What's this? What's this? I must go to him. If we cannot be together, then my grave is like to be my wedding bed. His name is Romeo and a stair person. Stairs are your only great enemy. My only love sprung from my only hate. Here's another thing. Sometimes adaptations of Romeo and Juliet are kind of hard to spot, especially the modern ones. You have to be told. So this is Romeo and Juliet, but we'll cut to the balcony scene. Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Hey, sup? How weird is this? I always thought that, that you would be on the balcony. Must be the name or something. You should come up. I'm packing my bag and we can leave out the back. Oh. These walls are high and hard to climb. What are you talking about? Just climb the stairs. Do you have an escalator? My love, this is how we get to be together. Just climb the stairs. Mm. This tote's not worth it. But how are you guys when it comes to like walking upstairs? Do you fight the urge like I do and then have all these mind games going on? Or do you just not think about it? Because you've got more important shit to do. I think I know the answer to that. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys are well. Before you ask, yes, I did make this wig. Maybe I'll make you one. I don't know. Didn't this video feel like walking up a long flight of stairs to find out there was nothing up the top? Yeah, I apologize about that. Hopefully next time we'll have a lift. Hope you guys are well. Bye. I'm doing a load of washing. If you've got anything, whites only, no colors. It's 2015, no one does that anymore. Okay, it's porno music slash comment time and it appears that the use of a flip phone in my last video really upset a lot of people. And I forgot I was actually gonna make a whole video with a flip phone, so remind me about that. And then you all reminded me that that flip phone I had didn't even have a camera. But you know what? You almost believed it because my acting is that good. And I love your comments about Gary. Last time I did a meetup, actually, someone brought a picture of Gary for me to sign, which was amazing. So thank you for making me laugh. And I just want to put this up to prove that I have the best comments on the internet. Imagine if someone saw this.